Okay, so we're talking SIBO and treatment. I'll share a little bit about my knowledge and my experience with that. Some important things to note there. So SIBO stands for small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and there's three different types of SIBO. There's hydrogen dominant, methane dominant, and new on the block is sulfite dominant, which I didn't know about. I just learned about it. So hydrogen dominant SIBO typically presents with diarrhea and methane dominant SIBO typically presents with constipation and methane dominant SIBO is known to be a more difficult um, one to treat and get rid of because of the way that it works in the body. So the mitochondria that cause the methane um, in methane dominant SIBO eat hydrogen as their fuel source. And so typically people that have hydro have methane dominant SIBO also have hydrogen SIBO that is then feeding the methane dominant SIBO. Does it make sense? Like it's kind of like a like domino effect. And so there's three kind of ways that you could treat SIBO. And I like to categorize them as like mild to moderate to severe in terms of like treatments. And so the mildest form is just by um, just by managing diet. So if you think that you have like mild SIBO symptoms, going on to a SIBO restrictive diet can help along with along with medications like magnesium citrate or procalopride uh, to get things moving in out of your system can help to target and man and get the SIBO out. Um, most people that have SIBO um, have have a more like when you first find out about it you have kind of a more severe case of it typically people are like diagnosed with ibs and they go on and live with that for a decade before they're finally diagnosed with SIBO, much like i was uh, so the moderate type of treatment is with herbal antibiotics and so um, i would highly recommend going into seeing a naturopathic doctor or a functional medicine doctor who is knowledgeable on what those herbal antibiotics are um, instead of just like buying off the shelf because there's a certain protocol and you need to know like how long to take them and what else to do. Um, and then the third kind of like um, most severe form of treatment is by a prescription antibiotics. And so um, hydrogen dominant SIBO is managed with a antibiotic called rifaximin and then methane dominant SIBO is managed with an antibiotic called neomycin. And so those two antibiotics are uh, not systemic. They target just the gut lining. Um, the only downside to that is that they are like really expensive and a lot of insurances don't cover it or only cover a portion of it. So um, that's kind of like SIBO in a nutshell. Let me know what other questions you have.